Hi, my name is Dave Briner, and I'm an application consultant for Synergist Technologies. Welcome to part two on how to more effectively utilize my iLogic parts and assemblies. In my last video, I discussed how placing iLogic components may cause some issues if you use a data management system that requires unique names. This issue occurs because when placing an iLogic component, Inventor uses the file name and adds a suffix of 01, 02, 03, etc. As you can see over here in the browser of my previous demo, it just uses the file name and adds a suffix. So to resolve this issue, we will use iLogic Copy Design. This process works well to quickly copy parts and assemblies and rename them with new suffix or prefix. So to get started, we begin back on our home screen and we will go to the tools tab. Under the iLogic panel, you'll see iLogic design copy. What this does is bring up um, the iLogic design copy window. I like to um, browse my parts and you'll see that I have my iLogic parts right here. I can open, I can open my iLogic uh, parts and I can select individually uh, which parts that I need for whichever particular project I happen to be doing. So as an example I could select uh, possibly a grab bar, I'll take my logic plate, um, I may need my uh, knee brace pipe and tube, um, possibly a louder rung, and I'll make sure I take my um, straight pipe and my straight tube. So um, that's probably about all I'll use for right now. I'll click the next button and you'll see that I have the parts that I uh, require selected. I can um, choose a target folder and in my case I'll use um, the folder that I'm working in right now. And I'll use my source uh, project. So in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a prefix to uh, all of my parts. So I can just certainly name them 1, 2, 3, 4, A, B, C, D, um, whichever I prefer. You'll see that it comes up 1, 2, 3, 4, underscore. And now uh, this is going to generate my uh, unique part. I could, have, I could have added a suffix. Um, the last thing is if you want to delete the rules or... Um, update the part number right now I'll just leave those blank so uh, I'm just gonna click start and you'll see that it runs through and done so I can close uh, you'll see right here I have a folder which brings up and right there are my brand new iLogic parts that I can use so what I'll start is I'll start a new assembly and I'll save this and we'll make this test 2 I will begin by going to my place component pull down select iLogic component and here are my uh, newly named um, parts and I will start with my iLogic plate and I'll place one plate and we'll resize this 120 by 96 by 0.5 and I think I'll leave everything stainless and we'll select apply and you'll see that my uh, description updates uh, I can continue to place my components. Uh, the last component used will be the selected component and we'll just go through and place a few plates. And I'll place um, two pieces and this will also be 120 by 60. Point five, 
and I'll place one more plate and I'll make this one 97 60 I'm going to continue to place a few more parts and then create an assembly. Uh, I'll be back in just a second. As you can see, I constrain the three uh, the plates to uh, just create a half a box. I will continue to place a few iLogic components uh, using a straight pipe. And uh, we'll select a 3 and schedule 40, uh, stay with the stainless, and this will be 96 inches. I'll go back and place a knee brace. I'll select a tube this time. Uh, put two of them there. And I'm going to I will make this a 30 by 30 and we'll make it a 4 by 4 by half. I'm going to um, place these and pattern them and I will be back again in just a moment. As you see, I uh, quickly placed the three pieces. I am, um, which actually just took less than a minute. I'm going to select uh, three parts for patterning. Uh, just choose a column. We'll select uh, 24 inches, and uh, we'll make say a four. So. I've quickly um, created a simple, strong um, structure. Uh, I didn't have to create any brand new parts. I utilize iLogic components. Um, let me save this. I'll go to a drawing. I'll place. Uh, my components and then I'll place the bill materials to see how we've made out so I'll uh, I'll select my initial view parts only we'll say OK and let's open this up to And there's my there's my bill of material parts list. Um, quantities look correct. Descriptions are just the way I like to see them. And my material is added as per uh, everything I've done when creating the parts. So this worked out rather well for me. I mean I think I can um, I do this uh, often enough. Um, simply going in and uh, then. Just adding my balloons and dimensions, I can create a uh, I can create a drawing rather quickly this way. Um, this process works well for me. Um, maybe everyone won't um, won't appreciate at least the way um, the suffix or prefix is added, but um, I tend to find this uh, again uh, works for me. So um, if you see value in this, I hope this works, uh, works out well for you. Um, you have any questions, you can certainly email me at Synergis, and I'll uh, be happy to answer any questions that, um, that you may have. You can reach me dave.briner at synergis.com. And uh, thank you for um, watching this video. I hope you have yourself a great day, and till later. Bye-bye.